Sick medics! My partner in crime for the next 48 hours. You can have like sciatica. Ah! It looks like I'm pregnant. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jasmine. Last time we went back and we did our high school experience. Oh my god, yours looks so real! Very adolescent. So they didn't card us. We did not get carded. But this time, we're fast forwarding into parenthood. In this episode, we'll be wearing pregnancy bellies for 48 hours. Oh, oh, oh. pregnant one day? <laughs> Honestly, no, because of like past trauma. When I am uncomfortable or things are out of my control, especially physically, I feel terrible. What about you? I feel like I grew up thinking I would want one, but I feel like with time, mm -hmm. I feel like the maternal instinct started happening. Everyone's having babies right now. I don't know yes. if it was the pandemic. I don't know if it's because we're getting older. Both. It really makes you like look back at your life. I know. And be like, should I? I am positive that I don't want to birth a child through my own body, but I want kids. At least two, possibly six. Six? Yes. I want a team. I'm Rebecca Nelkin. I am a gynecologist and a pelvic floor specialist. I, I don't know what that means. You will <laughs> you find out after you birth this baby. Whoa! We are going to be wearing pregnancy bellies for 48 hours. What are we going to experience? All of your daily tasks are gonna become more physically cumbersome. It feels like extra weight. It's pressing on your bladder. Right. Really? Swollen ankles, swollen legs. Yeah. You can wear compression stocking. Wow. Or keep your feet up as much as possible. Jessica! Oh my gosh. You just had a baby. I did. Oh! Oh my gosh. We're gonna be wearing pregnancy bellies for 48 hours. What was like the hardest things to do while you were pregnant, like physically? Like tying my shoes was really hard. I just wore sleep on a lot. Or like let my husband like tie my shoes for me. How did you sleep? Like what position do you recommend? So I started sleeping on my back because it's better for you, but when you're pregnant at a certain point, you can't sleep on your back. So you just have to like realign your pillows and all that stuff. You can only sleep on your side. All right, well, thanks, Jessica. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh my God, the baby! I can't. When should I worry about like my eggs dying? Yeah. Because I think society like freaks you out. Excellent question. Because it is true that fertility declines with age. 35 is when that decline becomes more significant. You need to get on this. What? You need to get on this. I'm not ready. Uh, You'll have one. You'll give it to me. <laughs> Okay. Are you serving them? Yes! And then we'll raise them together. Imagine. You guys are gonna do great. I, I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna look cute. Oh, you know what? Oh, we're, we're gonna cute. look cute. Happy. I'm trying to be a mom thought. We're gonna shop for the our fashion. Fashion, pregnancy fashion. The pregnant fashion. Anytime I'm on, like, say, ASOS, I mm -hmm. always have to deselect the pregnancy mm -hmm. option and do main collection. Yeah, now yeah, I yeah. get to see pregnant. I want something that's gonna show off the bump. The bump, right? Yeah. I wouldn't normally go for something like this, but it has like the extra room for the bump. Yes. It looks comfortable and I think I could make it more me with this bucket hat. We are on the website Co Edition, which actually have plus size maternity and are cute. What I have found is this maternity jumpsuit with a cardigan. Cute. I got it in a cute rose color. Hot moms. Hot moms. Watch out. Bring in synthetics. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. <laughs> what? Ooh. Oh. 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 Heavy. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god, it feels like a water bed. All right, put yours on first. Cheers. Belly bump. I'm scared. Can you hold up your shirt now that I have it hooked in my shirt? Okay. <gasps> oh, it is cute. Oh my god. Let's get her on. Yeah. Into our day one, baby. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Good morning. I'm pregnant. My partner in crime for the next 48 hours. I don't know if I can do this by myself. <laughs> Look at her 
go. Usually when I wake up, having to start a video challenge, mm -hmm. I don't really like my day controlled, especially when I wake up. I don't know how I'm feeling. I could be feeling horrible, I could feel right. amazing. But this time I felt good and I was excited. Not gonna lie, it's weirdly comfortable. There is that extra weight. I'm not sure if it's as heavy as a real pregnancy belly, but it is heavy. It is the first day of pregnancy belly. I'm gonna make some breakfast for me and my friend Jill. First Jill needs to help me put it on, so. Jill, will you come put this stomach on me? <laughs> oh, can you like your shirt up? Yes, one moment. I'm just tucking it into my underwear. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it's because like I'm bigger in general, right? But it did not yeah. send me in a weird place. Right. We had a day planned. We did. We had a, the classic Lindsay friendship day plan where yep. we go to the mall yep. and look at everything and not buy anything. So I have about an hour before I have to go pick Lindsay up. I'm going to see what I'm going to wear today. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so weird. And I know it's supposed to, but like it looks like I'm pregnant. I'm gonna go get ready for my day. This is what the belly looks like on its own. Honestly, I could walk out like this and no one would think anything of it. Oh God, this is difficult. I can't get my socks. Oh my God. That was one sock and I'm exhausted. I'm already sweating. <laughs> now for tying my shoes. Again, I fell. I need a break. Wow, thank goodness. All right, so this is my day one prego look. I got these pregnancy spanks on, Converse, crop top under this, and then a little tie, which kind of hides the fact that this is a fake pregnancy belly. I don't know if it's the belly or if it's like mom energy, but I'm stressing out for no damn reason. I'm walking around just like overwhelmed. I really feel like my mom. <laughs> Pregnant people drive too. You look amazing. Moms. The ironic thing is like, we're right next to an elementary school right now and we're waddling in. We really are. We're waddling in with all the other <laughs> literal mothers. I'm just terrified that we're gonna run into someone we know. Oh, I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. We're eating for two. We're eating for Maybe two. Maybe they'll give us bigger portions cause they'll see our <laughs> Shut up. I'm serious. So we went to the mall. I started feeling really insecure. <laughs> because people were looking at us yeah. and I couldn't tell why. Full stares, not just like a look and then a look away. No, like just like stares. eye contact. Do you think people really think we're pregnant? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a bit of a phony. I do too. I feel like I don't deserve this. Okay, so I just went to the bathroom and there was a line and the girl let me go in front of her and in the biggest stall. <laughs> We went and got lunch. Jazz is walking to the door mm -hmm. and someone walks in front of her. Someone already held the door open for us and we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we refused and they were like, no, you're not opening this door. And you were like, no, you don't have to do that. Like I got it. And she yeah. was like, no. Yeah, like insisted. I ordered nachos for lunch and the waiter came and was like, these are really hot. And I was like, get them away from baby. Baby doesn't like hot. <laughs> she was like, don't worry. Like I won't get it next to baby. And I was like, <laughs> this is our life right now. So we went to a fancy store, went straight to the baby section. You were like, all right, I want avant-garde. I want. I want gender bending. Couture, I want literally. Couture. They didn't have avant-garde. They did not have gender bending. They no, had they had like suspenders. <gasps> so cute. Oh my god, is this it? I would say it was way more exhausting than a normal mall trip. It was like mentally exhausting. It was mentally exhausting, but also like there was a lot more pressure on my back. I was so bloated that it hurt to like move around and get up and down in this belly because the bloatedness oh. was weighing on the be my belly. Oh god. Anyway, I was just a wreck. So when I went home. Kate came over and I was so excited to show them. Mm -hmm. What do you think about me having this belly? I can't say it's comical because this is a natural phenomenon for some people, but it's funny to see you pregnant knowing you don't super have plans to do that. Does it make you want to see me pregnant with a child. I don't think it makes me want you to be pregnant. Why? Because this is cute and fun, but when there's actually a human growing in you, there's so much associated pain and symptoms. I wouldn't want to see you go through that. 
time for a nap. Mama's tired. I wish you would stop. <laughs> I haven't had any issues with the bump, except that I want to take it off. <laughs> and it's only day one and I'm already feeling exhausted from this, so I can only imagine. Nine months. It's the first night sleeping with the bump. I usually sleep on my side. I'm not really a back sleeper. Oh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Good night, little one. Here's the thing, the way I normally sleep is belly down. But I don't think I get, ugh, kind of, no, I can't do that. I guess it's gonna be like sideways lay. But didn't someone say that you can't lay on your back when you're pregnant? So how are you supposed to sleep? Oh my God. I did not sleep well at all with this belly on. I am so tired. I also woke up with horrible cramps and like swore I was in labor because I had this belly on. <laughs> Let's get to day two, I guess. I'm gonna try to put on this leopard print like romper. <laughs> it's not maternity, but it is stretchy. So I'm hoping it'll fit. This is the look today. Okay, wow, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is my favorite outfit. I feel so cute in this. Got this maternity shirt from ASOS and same with the little maternity shorts. Wow, this is a moment. How are the shorts? They're kind of slipping down. <laughs> They're cute though. How are you feeling? I go in and out of just really wanting to take it off and feeling, and then also feeling really wonderful. <laughs> yes, I was very, very worried about seeing myself Yes. Pregnant yes. and adjusting to that, yeah. but I really love it. One of the coolest things about being pregnant is announcing it with a photo shoot. <laughs> yep. All right, we're headed to our pregnancy photo shoot. Well, I am like, <laughs> what? can we work this? We wanted it to be like flowy. Right. Still giving that mom glow. Right. And we wanted it to be us. We are literally glowing. Mm. Baby loved being a star. Night two of our pregnancy bellies. I'm exhausted. <laughs> And I don't know if it's physically carrying this weight around or if it's like mentally carrying this weight around. <laughs> it is our last night wearing the bumps and we're going out. And I'm trying to figure out what to wear. <laughs> Never had to dress for a sexy night out with a pregnancy bump. So I ordered this dress off maternity on ASOS and I thought it was really cute. But the issue is it's so short in the back. Like all the fabric kind of went to the front to cover the bump. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, this has been truly so frustrating. I've tried on so many different things. Nothing fits, obviously, because this is not my normal size. And I'm also sweating. Ew, it's slimy down there. Here are my outfit options. I'm either gonna wear this dress with this dress underneath it. This dress is a little tight, so we'll see. I found this dress that is not supposed to be a maternity dress, but somehow stretches to be one. And I just paired it with some cowboy boots and this little black bag. I decided to put on this little skin tight dress. Yes, this is pretty high. <laughs> I put on this like long sleeve dress underneath it, but I tucked it in. And then I totally clashed at the bottom with my orange socks and sky Crocs. We're going out to karaoke. Normally I would drink, but I'm kind of nervous. Even though I'm allowed to drink because this little one is not real, I don't want to cause a stir. If people see me drink, maybe we just shouldn't. And then things got wild. Wild moms. Me and you literally pregnant in these awesome outfits, walking into a karaoke bar, and then we sang our asses off. I didn't realize how many songs had the word baby in it. It was a blast. This is our last night. Before this video, I was already like, people who give birth are truly, not even superheroes, like unreal to me. And I just, like, I can't even fathom. In no way, shape or form did we experience like how life is. <laughs> 
with an actual fetus growing no. inside of us. But it did not make me want to have a child. I just knew in my body, in my mind, that it's not my time yet. I've never wanted to be pregnant. And then seeing this on me, being like, oh, this isn't bad. It was just really emotional because I didn't hate it as much as I thought, thought that I was going to. All right, now is the time to Take this rip this off. literal baby off. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so sweaty. Oh, ew, 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 ew. 